Hi guys, this is Miss Young.、Uh, I'm gonna start making videos for you guys as well. So I decided, why not today?、Um, since we have a test tomorrow. So what I need you to do before we start this lesson, I need you to get out a piece of paper or whiteboard or something to write with because I'm gonna give you a really really hard expression and I need you to solve it and then pause it. Of obviously, and then a replay back so that you guys can see what steps I'm taking, or even do it with me if you feel like you need that extra、um, support. Then do it with me, okay? Do what whatever you feel like. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write down the expression really, really well, so you guys can actually write it with me. So this is what I have. This is really, 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 really long. All right. So what I'm gonna do first, I'm gonna start with the PEMDAS. So P is the your first、uh, priority. So then I need to do what's inside the bracket that right there in the parentheses. So I'm gonna do four, ten divided by five. I can get rid of the parentheses since it's, I'm already done, but I cannot get rid of bracket because I'm not done with that. The oftentimes, my friends, you guys get it wrong because you get rid of a sign or a bracket in the middle of a process. Make sure you take your time and do it as you go. Okay. And I'm gonna solve. Go ahead and solve this one. I'm gonna leave that bracket alone because four is kind of connected to this bracket. So if you get rid of it, it just becomes forty-two. We don't want forty-two. This is four groups of two, right? All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and solve this one as well, just because, um, because I'm gonna rewrite it and then I will do this one next anyway. All right. So I'm gonna do fifteen divided by three. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna think. This is four groups of two, and then this is fifteen divided by three. So when we write PEMDAS, remember it's PE, and then we got M and then D. And then A and S. These are the priority level. We got the parentheses got rid of because this one right now, friends, I can just rewrite it as four times two. So this is no longer parentheses. There's no exponents. We got multiplication or division, right? So if you got multiplication division, the first thing you should do is to whatever came first. This one came first. So I need to do four times two. I'm sorry, four times two. That's eight. A plus fifteen divided by three. Now you got addition and division. Now you need to still do multiplication divisions.、So、you need to underline this, eight plus five, and my answer is thirteen. Did you get thirteen? If you really pause it and did it alone, let's see. All right, I'm gonna throw some now decimals. So definitely, it will take a little bit longer time. Minus twenty-four and eight tenths divided by. Two and then ten. Okay. All right. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do what's inside a parenthesis. So then that will be that one. So I'm gonna do it on the side. Four and three tenths times nine. Thirty-six. That does thirty-eight and seven tenths. So I'm gonna do thirty-eight and seven tenths minus twenty-four and eight tenths divided by two. That's still in a parenthesis. You cannot get rid of it, right? And then I'm gonna do this parenthesis. Right, because you always a parentheses first, the grouping symbol first. That will be twelve and four tenths, and then you still got ten over there. All right, now I'm gonna do a bracket. I'm gonna get rid of it, so that will be right twenty six and three tenths. And then you got that bracket, and then you have ten. So I'm thinking you got a grouping symbol and a ten. There is no symbol. Okay, so that means what? What out of the operation? Out of the four operations. What operation is the one that I can get rid of? Okay, so that will be this question's right. Ah,、uh, this operation's right here. It will be multiplication. Sorry about the sum. Alright, so the multiplication. So that will be twenty-six and three tenths times ten. That's what that is. Well, that's powers of ten, so it's easy. Just move it over one time. So that will be two hundred and sixty-three is what I got. Did you get it right? If you got it right, you should give yourself a pat on the shoulder. All right, I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna put throw some fractions in there, and then we're done. Easy peasy. All right, so ooh, let's see. Um, thirteen minus six halves plus um four and one half and plus ten.、Um, what is it? Five and. Three tenths. Ooh, some fractions and mixed numbers and and decimals. I just made this a one up. So let's see if it even works. Hopefully it works. All right. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do parentheses, right? So that will be thirteen minus. That's three. 
That's three holes, right? Three holes plus four and a half. So that would be seven and a half. And plus half is what I got. And plus five and three tenths. The next thing I'm going to do is, am I going to do this one first? No. You need to subtract first. Okay, so I'm going to subtract that. So that would be that would be 12 and a, two halves, right? So if you subtract that, that would be five and a one half plus half. Close the bracket. You got five and three tenths. All right, so the next thing is going to be the parentheses still, wall brackets, the same grouping symbol. So that would be six holes. And then you got five and three tenths. And then if I finish that, that would be 11 and three tenths. This would not be five and nine tenths because you have to line up decimal point, right? Because you got to make it to 6.0. And that would be 11 and three tenths. All right. Thank you for watching the video, friends. If you actually watch all three videos and you have proof, let me know. I'm going to give you a prize. All right. Bye, guys. Be awesome.